Anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about street photography, all right? And in this episode, we'll be talking about what goes through our minds during shooting. And um, come on, let's go. beautiful shot you see how they look at me who gives a f word you know all right it's a fun fish market nope way too blurry we'll get him next time tiger all right let's go beautiful such an exquisite shot all right beautiful they're a beautiful girl, so if you girls are watching that, I just want to say you're beautiful. So right now my gear is um, a Sony A7 with a UV filter on, but I should actually have an ND filter just to make sure everything's in line. So I'm going to try to take a picture of something right now, like of this lady. Okay, so what you can do is, uh, I mean, if people really get upset on what you're doing, I mean, just, you know, make sure you're polite and say, hey, is it all right to take your photo? And if they say, all right, then you got the green light. So right here, I'm gonna try to take a picture of these, but I think they're gonna notice me, so we'll see. And if you have a silent shutter mode, that would actually help out. Because um, on these DSLR cameras and especially the Sony a7, the shutter is extremely loud in my opinion, but it's pretty cool. All right, so try to get these couples right here. And my lens is too short. Sorry guys, but size does not matter in photography, all right? Keep that in mind. Young man walking right here. But as you can see here, there's someone jet skiing. And with a 50, my lens would be way too short, but I'll, I'll give it a try. All right, not too bad. All right. So I'm not really a professional by any means. I'm just like a hobbyist getting into photography. All right, so for street photos, it's usually a shoot and go, run and gun, for example. Um, but with how we were set up right now, I have a cameraman following me, and that's not really ideal for street photos because they're gonna know you're up to something. All right, so let's try to get some photos. So, let's try to take a picture. So for this, I would actually need an ND filter. Um, it appears to be the highlights to be blown, but you gotta deal with, you got, with what you have. Now, what most people are concerned about with street photography is getting caught and just make sure you, you're confident and you act professional. That came out bad, but we'll deal with it. All right. All right, thank you guys. The thoughts in my head for shooting photography, street photography, street photography in particular is, like I said earlier, be confident. Don't be afraid to miss every shot or, you know, take extra shots just to be safe, you know, because you, you never know what you're going to get. Like that. I, I just got one. We'll put that up. But 
Just know that since you're starting off, not every shot's gonna be perfect. And you can always fix that in post-production. You saw that? Once I, once I aimed the camera, they turned away, so... You gotta know your boundaries. And make sure that your settings are always adjusted for the right exposure. If not, you can always fix that in Lightroom, which would what we use. I would recommend once you take your shot, just to stay still. So um, whatever your subject was, you can. The, they'll probably think that you shot something else other than them. So let's try. Like that's a nice looking uh, fan, right? So I'm gonna try to take a picture of the fan. Yep, let's move on. Okay. There's a little thing in his thing. A little fried in his mouth. All right, let's move on. Make sure you're friendly. Number one rule too. Important rule. And you can also try shooting like this without really looking down the eyepiece. Just guesstimate. But of course, those shots may turn sloppy as you may have seen. Which you can always fix, so we'll see. It's actually turning out nice, actually. Beautiful. You saw that? I just took a picture of those uh, unsuspecting bystanders, so let's go. Can you just nod for me? <laughs> See, I'm getting more confident. See, just snap away. Dude, raw XD, bro. Raw XD. Hot topic. <laughs> On this side now, it's getting pretty dark, so I gotta adjust my settings, bump up the ISO, and let's rock. Right, I'm gonna get this dude sitting on the side. Think, contemplating about life, so we'll see. That's my next piece. And that's what I call contemplating about life. It's my favorite so far. The view is pretty nice, as you can tell, right here. So as you, see, you can see, um, he wasn't too happy about that, and my client just walked away. But you know, anything for you guys. But alright, that's that's my thoughts on um, street photography, and some of my photos that I would like to share with you guys. So give me a drop down comments below for any advice. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into our video. If you liked our content, feel free to like or subscribe. And if you have suggestions, just drop them down below. Alright, cool. All right. Thank you thanks. guys.